In the past, science fiction movies were a reflection of people's boundless imagination of the future. Today, many of those once unrestrained scenes have quietly become part of reality through technological advancements. Take iris recognition technology, for instance. By simply looking at a scanning device, your identity is confirmed within seconds through precise data comparison. With its high accuracy, this technology has become the second most reliable biometric identification method after DNA. The iris is one of the most complex biological features in the human eye, containing rich texture information, making it highly unique. Iris recognition technology originated in the late 1980s, when scientists first proposed using the iris's unique structure for identity verification. With advancements in computer vision and sensor technology, iris recognition has gradually transitioned from theory to practical application. In this edition of Ningdian Interview, Yi Kaijun, director of Wuhan Hongshu Technology Company, Limited, will discuss the evolution of iris recognition technology, from its origins to its current applications, while also sharing insights on its future potential. Dr. E. Kaijun graduated from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, majoring in electrical engineering. He also holds double master's degrees in electrical engineering from the National University of Singapore and Huazhong University of Science and Technology, along with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering and first and second degrees in computer engineering from Huazhong University of Science and Technology. As a prominent expert in artificial intelligence, semiconductor, and optoelectronic design, Dr. E has been awarded 10 international invention patents and over 100 Chinese patents. His accolades include the China Patent Excellence Award and the Hubei Province Patent Prize Golden Award. Dr. E. Kaijun is also an expert on the Expert Committee of the China Security Products Industry Association, a member of the Advisory Committee of Guosheng Think Tank of the State Council, a member of the Biometric Identification Application Technical Committee of the China Security Standards Committee, and a part-time professor at the School of Integrated Circuits at Huazhong University of Science and Technology. He is an industrial professor at Hubei Province, a distinguished professor at Huanggang Normal University, and an expert on the Wuhan Artificial Intelligence Innovation and Development Expert Advisory Committee. Additionally, he serves on the Major Project Review Committee of the Wuhan Semiconductor Chip Special Committee and has been recognized with honors such as the 100 Talents Plan Expert of Hubei Province, Optic Valley 3551 Talent Plan, Top 10 Technological Innovation Entrepreneurs in Wuhan, and the Outstanding CEO Award at the China IoT Conference Innovation Award. The development of iris recognition technology dates back to the late 1980s, when ophthalmologists at Harvard University first conceived the idea of using the unique structure of the iris for identity verification. A major breakthrough came in 1992 when Professor John Dogman developed innovative mathematical algorithms that transformed this concept into a practical system for digital automatic recognition. His work laid the mathematical foundation for modern iris recognition. With advancements in computer vision and sensor technology, iris recognition has since evolved from theory into widespread application. In the early days, iris recognition was primarily deployed in high-security areas such as national defense and prisons. Recently, with rapid advancements in chip technology and continuous optimization of recognition algorithms, the performance of iris recognition systems has improved significantly. Equipment has become more compact, costs have decreased, and this has broadened its range of applications. In China, 
Iris recognition technology was introduced and developed around 2000. At that time, Professor Tantiniu, now a member of the Standing Committee of the 14th National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference and an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, returned to China through the 100 Talents Plan after completing his studies in the UK. He soon became the director of the State Key Laboratory of Pattern Recognition at the Institute of Automation, Chinese Academy of Sciences, establishing himself as a pioneer in China's iris recognition field. In 2006, Professor Tantiniu founded Jonka Hongba Technology Company, Limited, which has achieved remarkable success in the field of iris recognition and played a key role in establishing national standards. Today, iris recognition technology is widely applied across various sectors, including public security, finance, healthcare, and mobile payments. In China, it has become a crucial component of national security initiatives, such as the creation of IRIS databases within the public security system. These real-world applications have not only accelerated the adoption and growth of IRIS recognition technology but also increased its global prominence and influence. The development of iris recognition technology progressed slowly from the first patent in 1992 until around 2001, primarily due to a lack of urgent demand for high-security identity verification. At that time, global conditions were relatively peaceful, and terrorism was not a significant threat. However, the September 11 attacks in 2001 marked a turning point, highlighting vulnerabilities in identity screening processes. Terrorists gained access to the United States using forged identification documents, prompting governments worldwide to prioritize research, development, and application of advanced identity verification technologies. It is in this context that iris recognition technology has gradually emerged. Its unique advantage lies in the fact that iris characteristics vary from person to person, even among identical twins. After 18 months of age, the iris is finalized and remains unchanged throughout a person's life. It is minimally affected by external environmental changes or physical alterations, making it a highly stable biological characteristic. This stability ensures the uniqueness of iris features, which in turn confirms the uniqueness of individual identities. Therefore, using the iris as a password offers better long-term security. In widely used biometric recognition technologies, such as fingerprint and facial recognition, there are risks of password failure due to forgery or damage. For instance, fingerprints can wear down or become damaged, and facial recognition can be affected by plastic surgery, changes in expressions, and variations in lighting. In contrast, altering iris characteristics involves significant medical difficulties and surgical risks. Since the iris is a living organ with subtle dynamic features, it can be used for living authentication, making it extremely difficult to forge. Compared to biometric features like fingerprints and facial recognition, which can be imitated or copied using technologies such as 3D printing, the iris is controlled by the optic nerve, blood vessels, and muscle tissue. Factors like pupil dilation and tremor frequency can change at any moment, making the iris particularly suitable for strong identity authentication with a high security level. As a result, iris recognition technology is more difficult to forge than fingerprint or facial recognition, establishing it as a critical technology that combines high security and generalizability among existing biometric recognition methods. In the upcoming Ningjian interview, Dr. E. Kaijun will discuss the application of iris recognition technology in China and explore its future development direction.